Ready to Love Season 4, Episode 4, between Kwame and Micah and Micah and Irina. I don't know which is worse. I've been sitting here for like 20 minutes like, which of these two is worse? These people are just so terrible that I, I just... <sighs> These people are really disgusting. They are really awful. And I just cannot determine which of these two groups of people are the worst. Between, between, between Irina, the lusting half off of uh, at um Micah's fiance, and Kwame lusting after Paul Zach's fiance. I just I don't know who's worse. I think I'm going to go with Kwame is the worst. <laughs> hey, y'all. Happy Friday. Today's Friday, right? You see my eyes, girl. The eyes sleeping. Sleeping. Happy Friday evening. I want to thank you for your love and support. Thank you so much for showing me love and support. Be sure to check those videos out. I just did on, on Plantation uh, Pearl. I uh, go over there the last couple of videos. I do. You'll see what Plantation Pearl is. This racist chick, honey. This was, you know what I thought about? She ain't got, she's not working on African Americans. That's why Plantation Pearl had to go to the UK because you know they're different over there. She could not work with no black African American person over here in the United States and talk the bulls at that. She talked to the you to them black people over there that just came from Africa. She, that's it. That's it. Somebody need to clip this up and send it to me so I could make it a shark. Pearl ain't got no African American. That's why she went to the UK, because she couldn't say that over here with a room full of black people. Anyways, girl, I'm all I'm all stirred up. <laughs> Just listen to where... Love is blind. I know. Episode six, seven, and eight comment came out. Do not tell me anything. I don't want to know anything. Of course, I'm done with four and five, and I have to come back and do five. And the reason why I'm splitting it up is because I want to keep the conversation under the episode. I don't want to be mixing stuff up unless, you know, maybe I do a live or something. Okay. So be sure to subscribe, thumbs up, share this out. I want to thank you for those of you who have been checking out my books on Amazon. I'm still getting sales. And I uh, thank you for those of you who have done reviews. I really appreciate you. I absolutely love you and adore you. Husband profile. If you want to join, please send me an email so I can add you to the list. I still have to do my, um, my waiting list, but you can just send me an email and I'll, uh, you know, I'll, um, I'll add you. Thank you so much. A uh, new book, uh, Dayton is for data. It's coming out very soon. I'm going to get back to get that back to, to you soon. Okay. So in episode, episode four, uh, it's called playing with fire. Okay. That's what the Bible says. You're playing with somebody else's. Well, they're not married. But mm -hmm, playing with somebody else's wife, honey, you're playing with fire. Remember, please share this out. You can share this out on Twitter. If you have Twitter, you could just press share and share the video. You can share it to your Facebook page. You can share it to your email page. Thank you for those of you who's helping me to grow my page. I am finally at almost at my twenty thousand. You know what I noticed about YouTube? Sometimes you grow, and sometimes it's like you're at a standstill. Like there is this black YouTuber, girl YouTuber. She's been stuck at nine hundred thousand and seventy two for forever, forever. We've been trying to get her to get to a million subscribers. So YouTube be playing games. So I've just kind of made peace with it. Okay, episode four, playing with fire. Uh, it begins with Zach and Irina, and he thinks it's it's going to be crazy chemistry. <laughs> He's so delusional. He's hopeful. Okay, Zach is Zach. Zach is hopeful. She's nervous. He hasn't told her nothing about him. Skin here. Uh, how tall and he doesn't think it's going to matter. Really? Let me tell you, love is only blind to the people who meet the guy that they're really attracted to. Like, I could never be attracted to a Marshall. Not even Brett Child. I just couldn't. Mm, I'd be like, well, I couldn't do love is blind no way. I couldn't do love is blind or married. I just, mm -mm. I just couldn't do it. Uh, so he says she looks like a fictional char character. And this is the only time I'm going to agree with Irene because Zach, I mean, yes, 
Paul. Wait a minute. Let me make sure I don't get them mixed up because they look alike. I have Zach. Um, yes, Zach does look like a fictional character. Irina didn't lie not one time. Irina was telling the truth because you know what they say. A broke clock is right at least twice, two times a day. Irina was not telling the truth when she said Zach looked like a cartoon character. I was like, girl, you're not lying. <laughs> I just can't put my finger on who. I'm thinking somebody in Batman. It's not Penguin, okay? Because Penguin had perfect hair, at least in the last Batman. Did you watch the last Batman? Oh, my God, I love Batman. But it's somebody that has, what's the Mr. Freeze? I don't remember. I didn't look it up because I, 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 I didn't want to laugh too hard. I was like, I read this right. She's not lying. She not lying about this. She not lying. Oh. She's not lying. She's not lying. Zach does look like a cartoon character. Okay, so I'm going to let her have that. But my problem is, Irina, you didn't have to say to that man's face. You know, this is embarrassing. <laughs> you, Irina, but you know what? You're the devil's daughter. So I don't, I don't, I ain't going to put nothing past you because you're Satan's daughter. So you will say anything. You have no kind of tact, no kind of mouth control, but you're not lying, girl. You're telling the truth this one time. I was like, Ooh. <laughs> oh my lord the door opens and she, she's uh look at him and he she says good to see you sort of like when i meet somebody i'm like oh my god i'm not attracted to you and uh uh this is they sit down she said, they look like future character and uh he he needs to listen so he was looking at her i thought i did this part already. he was looking at her like Girl, I said, is she right again? <laughs> I was like, Irene, okay, girl. Okay, I'm gonna let you have it. I'm gonna let you have it. Because it did look like Zach was not blinking. Right? He it did look like Zach was not blinking. So I'm gonna let Irene have it. She's not gonna have any more. Okay, Irene. She's not gonna have any more of 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 she got it. So then uh, he says he'll bring more. He proposes, and I wish she had said no. He goes in and asks if her if she he whispers does she want it wanted to kiss, and she said just a hug for now. And uh, and she said it's too much for me. She says she has to get used to how he looks. So right off the bat, she is not physically attracted to him. Which prove love is not blind. Love is only blind when the person it fits what you like and what you want. But if it's not, if you it don't, it's not blind because after a while, it's just not going to, it's just not going to work out. So the couple is in uh, Mexico. They meet up, and uh, once again, Zach tried to uh, kiss Irina. And uh, and the balcony, and he she he gives her a hug, and I'm like Zach, are you not realizing that this woman does not want to kiss you? Huh? You don't realize, Paul? Uh, Paul and Mika. Uh, you know what? They there's the way they talk is so weird to me. those California people, you know, those people out there. <laughs> Paul and me, the way they talk is just, I'm like, what? I almost had to turn on my caption just for me to understand what this is. Anyway, so then we see Chelsea with her thirsty self, tonguing down Kwame, acting like uh, MJ when he tried to kiss. <laughs> oh my God. Lord, I put him acting like Edgy without trying to kiss it. Okay. <laughs> you see, Chelsea, let me talk about Chelsea. Chelsea is real, I don't want to say thirsty. Chelsea is so desperate for love. And I just hope that she doesn't go through and marry this man. Because he's not right for you, Chelsea. He's not right for you. <sighs> So 
So then we see Marshall and Jackie, and she. I, I personally, I believe that she is not into him. I think Jackie is too masculine, too tough, too aggressive, too street for Marshall. And I just think she's not into him. I think she wanted to try something different. And sadly, the different didn't work out for her. And I just do not think she's into him. She confirms, and she confirms, there you go. She confirms that physically she's not he's not her type. She would have swiped if she saw him on a dating app. She goes uh, for over six feet at Ghetto Hood and Marshall is nothing like that. Who was it in my comments that said Marshall is 5'11"? That's tall. 5'11 is a nice height. You might as well say he's six feet, right? But isn't Jackie also tall? So when the guys are almost the same, it's like somebody, it's like I'm five, six and somebody's five, six. It's just, it will be like, mm. <laughs> but I think she wants, she's trying to try something different. And I just don't think it's going to work out. I just personally think she's too much for him. And I think he's, she's going to give him a run for his money. <clears throat> Marshall asks if she wants to wait until after the altar to be intimate. And she, she looks like at him like she was playing Chinese. She was like, no. Is she from the Bronx? She act like one of those Bronx girls. <laughs> I know the people from the Bronx. Ah, Janice. Ah, ah. <laughs> ah, ah, Janice. Yes, Michael. Hold on. Hold on, guys. Yes, honey. Yeah, Jackie act like one of those girls from Broad and Market. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Maybe I could do episode five right now, but I don't think so. I'm tired. Uh -huh. <clears throat> so then we see Zach and Irina having dinner, and she says, you like me, huh? So, Irina, you know he likes you. So you just keep rubbing it in his face that he likes you, Irina? <clears throat> huh. You just want to rub it in his face. He asks if she figured out what kind of character he looks like, and he says she looks like uh, Megan Fox. I feel like the the white boys always say this to the girls with the black hair. He wants to name their kid Goliath. He wanted you to. I would never. <laughs> Don't ever do. see people when you people when you name your kid's name like that. They're always going to get tested to see if he's like Goliath. Don't name him like that. Okay, name him a nice name like David. <laughs> so then we see Tiff and Brett, they look cute together. And I wonder, is that was is that her real hair? But after she got in the pool, it was obvious that wasn't her real hair. Uh, <clears throat> um, but I was also thinking, was here Brett also his real hair? Because it's so thick and nice. And you know, the men these days, they have these men. Um, did he get in the pool? I don't remember Brett getting. That's probably why he didn't get in the water, child. He didn't want his man weave to come. I'm not saying, you know, he. It could be. It could be his. He is here because my daughters. My daughters. My. My son's doctor has his hair like that, and I know he ain't got all that hair. So I know I was like, I was looking at his hair, bro. Alexa, little Michael, do his physical look at his hair. I'm like. I know he got all that hair. It looked real nice. It looked just like, just like uh, Brett's hair. But in my head, I'm thinking, <laughs> thinking I know you don't have all that hair. But anyways, this is 2023, child. The men are wearing man weave just like the women are wearing the man weave. But I'm just saying, Brett here, I do have some pictures here. I took some pictures. Brett here looks so nice. It just looks so thick and 
and luscious and green. You know, like my hair, I, I have really, really, really thick hair. My daughter, too, uh, had really, really thick hair. You know, she's going through alopecia right now. But before that, <clears throat> before that, Sister Lexi had really, really thick and gorgeous hair. That's probably why the devil be attacking her in her hair because her hair and jet black. Lexi here is jet black. So I was just wondering if that was Brett's hair. So if anybody, if you if you think you know if that was Brett's hair, let me know. But I was just thinking how how gorgeous, uh, how gorgeous his hair is. So I have the pictures of Brett. I'll come back to show you because I also want to show you something else about Brett. So uh, let me know if you know if that is his real hair. Because, you know, the men these days, uh, they were in the weave and all that. <clears throat> okay. But it looked it looked absolutely beautiful. Uh, they both say they are perfect for each other. Uh, he got her a bathing suit. So I thought that was no, so nice. I love when my husband get gifts for me. I just like, you did? Really? And um, I thought it was cute. And uh, she said he made a good jo choice. Oh, my God. Paul put all his clothes on the floor. I was ready to throw up. I'm sure I threw up in my belly. I just, girl, let me tell you how bad I am. I am so bad. Or maybe it's OCD. <laughs> that if a towel falls on the floor, I put it in the wash. I just can't. I just cannot. <laughs> like how you know how you use your towel <clears throat> and hang it up and then if it falls uh uh Lou Michael hang his towel up on the door if the towel fall on the door and I sit off the and I sit no I put in the wash I am really really like OCD let me tell you how OCD I am I wash, we do have a laundry service, certain things I wash, my private stuff, and then I wash our towels because I just can't, I just don't like how people wash my towels. I got to wash my own towels. So anyways, you know how you're taking out the, the, the wet clothes from the wash to put it in the dryer? And if one of my rags or towels fall on the floor, girl, no, I put it back in the wash. <laughs> I put it in the wash. I was like, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I put it in the wash with the next law. I said, oh, no. Because you know what? I'm just going to be thinking about it. I'm just going to be like, oh, my God, it fell on the floor. Oh, my God, it fell on the floor. Oh, my God, it fell on the floor. Germs. You know, so when Paul took out all his clothes at the, at the hotel and put it on the floor, I just couldn't believe he put all his clothes on the dirty floor. You know, they probably didn't clean the floor. Girl. <clears throat> Anyways, they are excited about spending their first night together. Paul stripped down to his drawers for bed. And did y'all see Micah dirty feet? I just, I don't understand why the people, you know there's camera in the house, Micah, nasty. Why you don't wash your feet? Huh? Why you don't wash your feet? Or you know what? Put some socks on. Put some socks on. So when I'm watching the TV, I don't be like, no, she didn't get it that big with that dirty feet. I was like, no, she's not getting the bed. What, what's, what's with this with these white people getting the bed dirty? <laughs> so in her voiceover, she said, in the past, Paul is not someone she would date. So she wouldn't, if she saw him, she wouldn't date him. <clears throat> and I thought that was interesting. So Zach and Ralph, you know, they the stuff animal. And Irina gets in bed and he's giving her the kiss. I hate that. I hate it. Paul, um, Zach, why? This is him. He's looking at her with those blank eyes like this. And she's like. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. I was like, don't do it no more. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> don't you do it. Zach, don't do it. <clears throat> so we over at Kwame and Chelsea, and they look like they were doing it in the pool. Because, you know, Chelsea is hot, horny, and her eggs are crying for some sperm to have a baby. Why does Chelsea still have her baby blanket, child? She went to, she went then they in the bed, and she going to pull out her some strings. That's baby blanket. Now, I don't mind keeping stuff. I have Alexia's baby blanket that she had. And um, 
that little Michael brought war home from the hospital and little Michael has been using it. <clears throat> he still uses it sometimes. And what I plan to do when he's done using it, I'm going to wash it and, and fold it up nicely and put in, put it, put it in, um, a bag for him because we already started saving things for him, for his children. And he's to the point now where he, he, um, He'll 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 start putting stuff together. Be like, oh, mommy, I can save this for when I grow up and when I get older and I have my children. And so I love that. This is this is how you teach your kids about the future and how to prepare for their future and how to think about getting married and you know stuff like that. So they have it in their mind and in their mentality that they are about family and family is important. <clears throat> and um. And stuff like that. So um, if I remember the next time I'm going to find it, I can't find it right now. I thought I had an album of Luda Michael coming home, but um, I don't mind her having it. But girl, it's it's strings. It's all strings. Like she's, she's 31 years old and you still sleep with the blanket from when you was a baby? No, ma'am. Something is wrong, Chelsea. You need to go to counseling. Okay, so then we're at Tiffany and the, the girls are talking about Tiffany and, and Brett was soft porn. I liked it. I was like, yes, girl. <laughs> well, you know, I'm not <laughs> I'm not encouraging fortification or anything. But listen, listen, y'all. Them white girls do it and we don't say nothing. So why Tiffany with that big old bootalicious ass that she got? That she can't do it. I loved it. And I loved her her, her brown bird baby. So even though my ice cream dropped out of my mouth, I was like, do it, honey. Yes, girl. Yes. <laughs> I loved it. I know people was like, oh my God, no, she didn't. But I love it. I just didn't like the gyrating part, but I I thought it was very sexy and you know, I just, I really loved it. She has a very nice bootylicious booty. And I was like, yes, girl, bootyliciousness. So it's the next morning. <clears throat> Chester looked like, uh, you know, she looked so happy because, you know, she was getting that chocolate mandingo, that mighty mandingo all night. She said that was the best D she ever had, girl. Mm. Well, you know, anything with chocolate is really good. <laughs> so we see Zach and Irina waking up and what's with the pout, pouting kiss. Zach, no more pouting the lips out and the kisses. I just cannot take it. Zach and his that. So then we see Tiff and Brad and please tell me they brush their teeth before the morning kisses, child. I don't know if this is for TV or what, but I just cannot, girl. My husband already know, don't you tap the booty when you get up in the morning. If you didn't go brush the mouth, girl, we've been married 10 years. He already know. Every morning around a certain time, he get up and go on over there to the bathroom. And he know, don't look at me, don't touch me until you go brush your teeth, child, because I can't with no stinky morning breath, okay? <laughs> But they over there kissing. They're like, did y'all brush y'all teeth? Oh, my God. So Paul says he usually goes for granola-type girls, and that's not Micah. You should have chose a granola by, girl, because Micah is definitely not it, okay? So then we see the couples do activities. I didn't like Marshall sitting uh, Jackie by the door at the little restaurant. Stuff like that kind of throw me. And somebody say he's an alpha. So if he's an alpha, he should have known not to sit her by the door. But you know, Marshall is a little feminine. I'm telling you, Marshall is a little feminine. And I was very surprised. And when then somebody say he's an alpha, I say, no, he can't be. He can't be no alpha sitting his fiance at the door and he's in the safe. Uh, uh, but I didn't like it, girl. I was like, no, he didn't. I had to rewind to make sure I was. I had to rewind to make sure I was looking right. I was like, no, he did. I was screaming like, no. So then she says uh, she, she has to go back home and she can flip a switch. And she doesn't want to push him away. 
Anytime a woman tells you she can flip at a when is her birthday? Flip at a switch, run for your life. Marshall needs to run from uh Jackie to run to the hill. Someone's come up your health. Jackie is crazy. I told you she's masculine, she's angry, she's aggressive, she is too, she's too hood and ghetto for me, and she's definitely too hood and ghetto for Marshall if he's an alpha. I told y'all this girl was crazy. I don't trust her, and she acts like she's from Boston market in the Bronx. Bronx people, I know you're going to be mad, but you can't tell me I'm lying. That's all Jackie at. <clears throat> and I didn't like it. I was like, girl, what? What is you crazy? What's the... So that was Zach and Irina, darling, and she's tired uh, of, of his singing, and I'm tired of it. Don't sing no more. <laughs> ah! Zach! And Kwame, don't you sing another song. Don't you do it. So then he tried to kiss her again, and she said, nope. Damn. So then we see Jackie, and she's having a, bro break a breakdown about her family. She's scared. She'll push him away. And I'm like, I'm like, something must have happened that we didn't see, because I am so, I am so... I was just kind of so lost, but let's just remember now, because see, people don't like to talk about certain things. He's black, she's Hispanic. So, you know, there, there's there been some cultural clash there. So maybe she's concerned about, oh my God, I chose, well, his name is Marshall, Jackie. So what were you thinking? He was white. Maybe she was thinking he, he was white. <clears throat> Could be. <clears throat> so then she keeps saying, I have to go back to that sugar honey ice hole. Uh, <clears throat> she says she has to take care of so many people. And I don't understand. I don't understand. Jackie's 26. Why is she taking care of all these people? I understand taking care of your mama, but you got to take care of everybody, Jackie. <sighs> Matter of fact, I got to send money home to my mama. Let me see. I messaged her last night. And my husband just went out. I should have had my husband to send it. You know, those of us from the Caribbeans and from the Africas, we know we got to take care of the family. But I just, you know, if it's so much pressure on her that she's stressing out, I just don't understand why these grown people don't get up and go get some jobs. Like a 20, a 26 year old should not be so stressed out about taking care of her family. Okay. Uh, okay, I don't have to send any money home until a couple of weeks. She says she has more than enough to keep her. Okay. Um, <clears throat> you know, I just think they put so much pressure on these kids to take care of them. And I understand if your mama is sick or something, or daddy's sick, but I, unless she's not, she wasn't telling the truth. Do y'all think she was telling the truth? Oh, I don't have Marshall up here. I need to put the couples up here. Do y'all think she was telling the truth or is she realizing what she's done and then she really don't like Marshall? Because I don't think she like him. I was like, see, 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 Jackie is like me in some sense where I, you have to be what I like. I can't be with a man that I don't like. I can't compromise and I can't settle. You have to be the man, like I had to marry a Michael. I couldn't marry a man that was not a Michael, you know? And so I'm wondering, is she really having a breakdown about the family or is she, is it make comments to her <clears throat> that, you know, she, you know, like, oh my God, I'm engaged to this man and I, I'm, I might have to get married. Okay. So back to Zach and the mean girl and they're laying in bed talking about, and he brought up uh, the physical side. Thank you. And the heifer claim it's taking longer for it to grow with him. No, lion heifer. You're just not attracted to her, to him, Irina. You're just not, just say it. Just go ahead and say, Zach, I'm just not attracted to you. So she done went to Mexico with a man she's not attracted to and enjoy a whole vacation. Excuse me, y'all. 
So it's the next day, and the raccoon was in Brent and Tiffro. I would have packed my bags. I would have packed my bags. I'll be like, I'll see you. I'll see you. I'm out. I'm going back to the United States of America. Okay. I just, I couldn't deal with no raccoon in my house. <laughs> just like my, my husband, best friend. His wife is from Ethiopia, right? And so they went home last year. The kids have never been home. She hasn't been home in a long time. He's never gone. And the kids have never gone. And he said he he went and he got sick. And I was like, but you you didn't know you got to you're supposed to drink the water. He said, it's not the water. It's eating the vegetation from the field. I said, that makes sense. Okay. So that he said the kids loved it. So he said, he said, he said there were flies and they the people was like they're, they're part of the family. He was like, no, I just get that. So he said one day he was upstairs in the room <laughs> and he heard something say, boom. He looked out through the window. His wife was helping to kill a goat and then she was helping to skin the goat. He was like, oh no, oh no, I got to go. I got to go. <laughs> He was like, I can't, I'm a, I'm a city guy. He's like, I'm, I'm, I'm a city guy. I'm from Manhattan. I can't. He said the next day he got on a plane. <laughs> I can't, I can't. He said the next day he got on a plane, he came home. He said, I left them over there, man. I just cut so I said, well, how long are you leaving? He said, well, they're going to wait until it's time. Their ticket, you know, they were they went for like two weeks or something. And he left that Sunday and they were supposed to come home like the following Sunday. I th it was just so funny. It was just so hilarious. So that was me and the raccoon was in my room. Girl, I would have packed my bags. <laughs> I would have been gone, okay? So then... <clears throat> We back over here, Jack, uh, uh, Jackie and Marshall, and they talk about her having a moment and she does a lot for her family and don't have me time. So I'm like, Jackie, why you get married? Why you get married? Hold on. I haven't heard little Michael. He's quiet. Jackie, if you don't have a lot of me time, why are you getting married? Because now you're going to have the little bit of me time. You're going to have to split that with your husband. I don't understand. Hi, honey. Honey, you've been so quiet. I haven't heard you. What you been doing up there? Listening to some stories. What kind of story? Bible stories? No, Mom. Kind the of creature over here. Oh, okay. Ooh. The one you said be children. <laughs> The one I they said say eat the children. Are you using your phone? I am using my phone. <laughs> I'm almost done. Let's see how much more longer do I have to go. Five minutes. You got a whole lot. No, no, no. I'm not doing I'm not doing this. I'm just doing see I stop here. This is where I stop. I stop here. Okay. Down, 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 down. Uh, you don't trust me? I do trust you, but you don't have anything under on down here. All right, honey, I'll be up in a minute, okay? I love you. Okay. Wash your hands, please. There's no snack. <laughs> wash your hands, Michael. He just said, to wash his hands. Oh, that's going to take so much time to wash his hands before he eats. Man. Anyways. <clears throat> so, Jackie, if you don't have a lot of me time, why are you getting married? Because husbands need time, girl. They need time for them to talk to you. They need to talk to you. They need to do the do with you. They need you to cuddle up with them. They need you to cook them a meal. They need you to wash their clothes. I just don't understand why you get married if you ain't got no whole lot of me time. I bet you if you was married to somebody you was attracted to, you would have a lot of me time. This is why I don't understand. This is why I'm saying people want to get married, but they don't understand what it means to be getting married. Because y'all getting married... And, you know, y'all act like y'all is Stacia trying to treat marriage like a pocketbook. No, no, no. They need to be taken care of. 
<clears throat> my husband came home last night and um I didn't come down. I didn't come down when he came home. And uh little Mike, I told little Michael, Michael, go go say hi to your father. <laughs> I was tired of me. And you know, he said, Little Michael said, he said, Little Michael, MJ, please tell mommy to come down and make my dinner for me. And he was tired. But when he do that, I know Mike was tired because Mike would just um get up and and make his plate. Um, and he came home a little early. He went to an event. He went to two events. And um, he got home a little earlier. So because I know he was going to a dinner event, I didn't leave dinner out for him. And so he said he was tired. So he just left and came home. But I know when he told little Michael to tell me to come make his dinner for him, I knew he was tired. So, you know, ladies, these are some of the things you have to do. And you don't get to tell him to make his own plate. Um, because if that was you, you would, and I jumped right up and ran down here and made him his plate. Okay. So I don't understand why Jackie's trying to get married and you don't have no time for you. So if you don't have time for you, are you going to have time for us? <clears throat> but I must say, I love the way how Marshall handled the whole situation. He was like, listen, we're human. We all make mistakes. So I absolutely love that. So we're back over at Chelsea and Kwame. They talk about what he might be nervous about going back home. Okay. I wonder what Chelsea's going to be nervous around. Because, you know, Chelsea looks like she's from Texas. She's from the deep south. And then they're talking about are they nervous about seeing other couples and what they look like. But he's curious what Micah looks like. Of course you're curious what Micah looks like. We know that. He was nervous about being intimate and she asked him like, uh, you know, was it what he was expecting? So he must have a little D, honey. He must, Kwame must have a little D. I'm going to just go ahead and put it out there because if you're so attracted, not that I'm pushing fornication, okay? If you're so attracted to this person, why are you walking in the room? Why don't you just get in the bed and lay that pipe? <laughs> lay the pipe i bet you if it was micah you would be laying that pipe and she like look let's what's going on come on let's get busy honey then she go ask was it what you expected well what you wanted him to say chelsea you thought he was gonna say no it's not what he'd expect of course he's gonna say it was good dum dum oh my god so then the couple meets up and jackie says wait wait a minute she was automatically attracted to Brett because Brett is tall, dark, handsome, good looking guy. But listen to what Marshall saying. Marshall was like, huh? And she says, oh, he's real handsome. And Marshall said, I told you. Marshall, why are you telling your fiance that a other man is good looking? Is this something you want to tell him? Marshall? Is there something you want to tell us? Because I ain't never heard no man tell say tell another woman, a woman that a man is good looking before. I, I you know, unless he has alternative. <laughs> plans. <laughs> alternative plans <laughs> and i was like <laughs> so we see irene in the bathing suit was scandalous child irene bathing suit was crisscross and all that was covered was the nipple just like <laughs> it was like this okay was all she was letting all the girls hang out and uh, Kwame is attracted to Micah. I mean, he just cannot help it. And Tiffany, they, then then Jackie, I don't know, child. Jackie was so, no, Chelsea, so what happened? Did y'all do it? And Jackie was like, no. And Tiffany said she was on her period. She didn't want that to be their first seat, the first experience, but she was sucking on the lollipop. Like, do we need it to, to know that, Jackie? Tiffany, you can keep that to yourself. You could keep it to the side that you were sucking on the lollipop all night, Jay. Uh, I, uh, Tiffany, why we need to know that? <clears throat> 
So then trifling Micah can't keep her hands off Kwame. Okay, this is where we get these these some of these pictures. She's hugging on him and kissing on him and touching and talking to him. And I had to rewind because about a, a couple of times, it looked like her nipple was popping. Did y'all see Micah's nipple? I thought I saw a nipple. Okay, because we've had nipple gate on these shows before. And I was that a nipple? Was her nipple popping out? Did y'all see? Let me know when she was standing up talking to Guam. Did y'all think y'all saw a nipple or something? <laughs> so Paul said he expected a lot and he saw a lot from Irene. So he was like, she was good looking. She's pretty. And her boobs were sticking out. And here again, Zach trying to kiss um. <clears throat> Zach trying to kiss Irene and she screamed like, ah! that she's grossed out. She's grossed out by him. Go ahead, girl. You are grossed out by him. So she says that Zach, when she's talking to Micah, that Jack touch, Zach touch and make her finger. I was like that. Like, I don't like people touching me. Like, especially guys who's interested in me, just don't touch me. Do not touch me. Do not touch me. It makes my skin crawl. And Y'all don't know me, but I'm a hugger. Like, I hug everybody. I talk to everybody. That's the going joke with my friends. Janice is late for lunch. She's 10 minutes late because she's talking to everybody. She's just in the hallway. <laughs> but if it's a guy that I that's likes me, I don't want him to talk. Don't be touching on me. <clears throat> okay. Uh, Irene is in love with Paul and finds him attractive. I think you're lying. Why is Irene in the corner talking to Paul? Get your filthy, dirty hands off of off of um, Micah's husband, fiance. Kwame's in the corner going on and on about Micah. Oh, she's so attractive. She's so beautiful, man. And we didn't really have no clothes. Uh, closure and then um Irina and um Micah asked for him to give him some drinks this is after um Chelsea asked him for something he disses them and uh Irina says oh Kwame is salty like why are you trying to play with that man's food but you know I don't care about Kwame it's like child you can do whatever so then Micah said uh, uh let's take a shot to a fail fail proposal and Kwame face was like oh my god I can't <laughs> so she tells him <clears throat> to take it down so they're in the corner talking he comes he gets her they're over in the corner talking and poor chelsea's over there in the other corner looking at it to see if mike is trying to steal her man and Micah, you know, tells him, like, you need to really take it down, calm down. And he was like, it's effed up what you did and what you said. I really cared about you, blah, blah, blah. And so Chelsea asks Jackie and Tiff if the ladies would be upset if your man was having a 20-minute conversation. And she's too insecure for me. Like, everybody's there. Can they, what are they going to do to each other or walk away with each other? Chelsea, Chelsea wants to go stop it. And Jackie says she would behead him. See, I told you Jackie act like she's from the Bronx. She's too violent for me. I just can't with her. She was like, I would behead him. I would behead him. So Chelsea gets up and walk away. And she was like, she's going to the room. And they, these two over there acting like they're having foreplay. He's looking at her, smiling. He's holding her hand and looking at her ring and all of this stuff. And I'm like, look, his head is shaved funny. But anyways, girl, I wonder if that's a man weed, child. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But anyways, let me know what you think about episode four. It's late, girl. It's 631. I'm not going to come back and do episode five, okay? So I'll wake up in the morning, do episode five, and I'm two weeks behind on um, Ready to Love. But I'm going to catch up on that, too. I love you. I love you. Let me know what you think. Be sure to, uh, those of you who watch my uh plantation pearl videos leave a comment for me let me know what you think and um i absolutely love you and adore you. talk to you later bye